Accenture is firing 19,000 employees. What percentage of workforce it is? What does Accenture do? What to do in a condition of a layoff? We'll talk about all these points in today's video. Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video. That being said, without wasting any more time, let's get started. Accenture is a Dublin-based multinational professional services company that provides a wide range of services in strategy, consulting, digital, technology and operations. They work with the clients across many industries including healthcare, financial services, communication and retail among the others. Some of their services include, the first one would be strategy and consulting. Accenture works with clients to develop strategies and solutions to help them achieve their goals and improve their business operations. The second one would be digital services. They help clients use technology to transform their businesses including developing mobile and web applications, implementing cloud solution and leveraging data and analytics. The third one would be technological services. Accenture helps client implement and manage technology solutions including enterprise resource planning which is also known as ERP systems, cybersecurity and IT infrastructure. Fourth one would be operation services. They help client improve their businesses processes, supply chain management and customer service operations. Overall, Accenture helps clients improve their performance, productivity and profitability through innovative and technology driven solutions. Okay, so according to India Today's report, Accenture is firing 19,000 employees and planning to lay them off over the course of like 18 months globally due to uncertain macroeconomic conditions. Although the layoff impacts 2.5% of the company's global employees, the number is significantly large compared to the layoffs at other tech companies like Google, Meta, Twitter and Microsoft. As pointed out by the Economic Times, roughly 40% of its global workforce operates from India and in a regulatory filing, Accenture states that layoff process will take 18 months to complete. Now this will happen to non-billable resources. Let us understand what exactly is a billable resource and a non-billable resource. So when we talk about an IT company, billable and non-billable resources refer to the employees who are responsible for generating revenue for the company by working on client projects and those who do not directly generate revenue. Respectively, uh, I can say a billable resource is an employee who works directly on a client project and their time and effort is billable to the client. They are typically consultants, developers, DevOps or engineers who work on a project for a set amount of time and are responsible for delivering the project within the client's budget and the timeline. The revenue generated from their work is a significant source of income for the IT services company. On the other hand, a non-billable resource is an employee who supports the company operations but does not work directly on the client project. They may work in administrative roles such as human resources, finance, marketing or IT support. Although they do not generate revenue directly, they are important to the smooth functioning of the company's operations and indirectly contribute to the company's overall success. It's important for an IT services company to balance their billable and non-billable resources effectively to ensure that they are delivering high quality service to the clients while also managing their internal operations efficiently. Being laid off can be a challenging experience. But there are several steps that you can take to help yourself navigate the situation. In this video, I'm going to talk about five points through which you can follow in an unfortunate event of a layoff. So the first point would be take some time to process your emotions. Getting laid off can be a stressful and an emotional experience and it's important to give yourself time to process these feelings. Reach out to your friends and family for support and consider seeking professional help. If you're feeling overwhelmed, talk to your parents or someone close to yourself. Second would be understand your severance package. If you are offered a severance package, make sure you understand the terms and condition. This can include details about your pay, benefits and other compensation you may be entitled to. Third one for, you can file for employ unemployment benefits if you are eligible as soon as possible. This can help provide some financial support while you are looking for a new job. Fourth thing and the most important thing is update your resume and online profiles. LinkedIn update such as uh, LinkedIn which all I said to reflect your most recent experience and the skills. Reach out to your professional network 
attend industry events and connect with others in your field to find new job opportunities. And the last one would be explore new career paths. Use this time to explore new career paths or industries that interest you. Consider taking classes or attending workshops to gain new skills. And at the end, take care of yourself. Finally, make sure to take care of yourself physically and mentally. Get enough sleep, exercise regularly and practice self-care activities that help you cope up with stress and anxiety. Remember, being laid off does not define your worth or abilities. With time and effort, you can find a new job and continue to grow in your career. And I wish you all the very best. So that's it for the video folks. And if you like this video, kindly subscribe to the channel because that would really support for me. And this might be free for you, but that would really help me to grow. All right. So uh, if there is anything, if there is anything that help I can do, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. Comment down below in the comment section and I will address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.